Wow, look at that. Hello everybody, Silver Picker here, and welcome to the Silver Picker Squad. Now, today's video is one that I'm so excited and privileged to be able to bring to you because it's about a topic that is so important, and that is helping people out, doing the right thing, and doing things for others within this online silver picking, silver stacking, coin collecting, and numismatic community. And I'm really, really excited to be able to talk to you about that. Well, the story I want to tell you about today is about a coin dealer who is just such a good person it's a husband and wife combo that are such amazing, wholesome, authentic people that I've worked with them over, over the past few months and I had an opportunity to facilitate an amazing deal for them. They had product, I had the customer, and I merged them together. And in this case, I actually did not ask for a dime. I just wanted to help them out. They're good, honest people that I have a very good relationship with and I didn't, really want, I didn't really need anything. I was not trying to make a profit on, on their deal. I just wanted to connect a buyer and a seller within the community that I knew that I could help out. And they were very, very appreciative. They thanked me and appreciated it and said, hopefully they'll be able to return the favor someday. And that was great. Now, they're also very private people, so I'm not going to say who they are, even though I really, really desperately want to say thank you directly to them publicly. But what I got, when I got home one day, is this box and it was from them and they emailed me and said they wanted to thank me for helping facilitate the business that I helped facilitate and they wanted to just send me a little thank you they just wanted to send me a little thank you to uh, to show their that they're appreciative so that was some nice karma that I was not expecting was totally unnecessary but I certainly appreciate and uh, I'm going to send them a silver picker limited edition postcard that I designed as well as a, as a little token of my appreciation for their token of their appreciation. And by the way, if any of you guys want to send me anything to open up on the channel, you are more than welcome to. Send it to P.O. Box 1322, Bronx, New York, 10471. Whatever you send me, if you do, I will also send you one of these limited edition silver picker postcards with a little handwritten note from me. End of plug. So. I want to crack into this box, see what they sent me, and uh, share it with you guys. And just to send the message, if you get nothing else out of this video, just do something nice for somebody. And you should do it for the right reasons, not expecting anything in return, but the more nice things you do for people, the more it comes back around and helps you out in ways that you could never have expected. So there's my little uh, public service announcement, and let's get to cracking this open and see what kind of goodies are inside. All right, so today we're going to be opening up the box with this Openel number eight uh, classic French knife that I absolutely adore. This is my second one of these, actually. I use these all the time. It is such a simple, rustic knife. I absolutely love it. I carry this around in my pocket all the time, and I get a ton of joy from using it on a regular basis. And as you can see, it is sharp and cuts really well. All right, let me just make sure that there's no identifying features on the inside of this box. Okay, as I suspected, there was some identifying features on the packaging, so I took that out. But we have a little note here on top that does say Silver Picker. So there's actually quite a bit of personal information in there, so I'm not going to actually read the letter out loud. But uh, the gist of it is that they are thanking me for helping them set up this deal. And uh, given the success of my grab bag videos online, they wanted to thank me by putting together their own little grab bag for me. And uh, in this case, because I didn't pay anything for it, you will see only the values pop up here. But they said, have fun, dig through it, and share it with my followers. So here we go. Look at this amazing grab bag. I already see some really cool stuff in there. So let's dig right in. So we'll start. I'll just grab a little handful. Wow. Oh my gosh. Look at that. So I already have one of these you've seen in a previous video, but look at this. This is a one of these horse blanket 1923 silver certificate. Now it's in pretty ratty shape, but anything first of all if they would have just sent me this alone i would have been beyond ecstatic the fact that there's a whole box of things this is incredible and it's marked 40 bucks i don't think this is really worth 40 bucks but look at that this is why they used to call why they call dollar bills greenbacks because back in the day the green was just so vibrant and vivid it's not like today where the the green on our bills are just kind of muted 
Look at that. What an amazing start. What an amazing, amazing start. Okay. Next is Mountain Pro Province Emergency Note, 5 pesos. This certifies that there has been deposited in the Philippine National Bank the equivalent of 5 pesos. Wow. Look at that. Handwritten signatures. What year is this from? There's a little explanation. I'll have to read that on my own. 1941, World War II. That is so cool. You know, you know how much I love the historical stuff and how much I love the World War II era stuff. Super cool. All right, we got a little black thing over here. Whoa, super cool. No motto collection. The motto, In God We Trust, first appeared on a U.S. coin in 1864, but it was not until early 20th century that it was used in all coin designs. So I guess this is all stuff that didn't have the motto. So it has a barber dime, a buffalo nickel, a Liberty V nickel, and an Indian head cent, and a red seal $2 bill. And if you look there, by the way, the, uh, the seal is actually a little bit off-center. Not quite an amazing misprint, but still cool nonetheless. That is super cool. Next up, we have... Two first day issues from 1994, and these are from the Olympics. We've got ice hockey and alpine skiing. That's pretty cool. I'm not a huge stamp collector, but actually my dad is into stamps, so I'm going to show those to him, and maybe he wants those. Man, we're going to stick with, uh, there's a lot of like uh, flat things here, so we're going to go with all the flat things first, and then we'll go into the, the chunkier things. See, I'm a very official person. You can see by my, my description of these items, these numismatic treasures, as flat stuff. Okay, we've got the Banco Central de Ecuador. Very cool. From 1983. Oh, wow, this looks a lot older than 1983. Right? 1983, that is so weird. Cool nonetheless. We've got some more stamps. My dad will enjoy these. These are really cool. They're from the U.S. They're five cent stamps from 1892. That's pretty cool. These are really, really beautiful. I don't really know much about them, but my dad definitely will. Got ourselves a U.S. nickel collection. We have a V nickel, a Buffalo nickel, a Jefferson nickel, a silver war nickel, which is in pretty good shape, actually. Look at that. That's really nice, actually. We got our 2004 Indian Peace Medal and the 2004 Keelboat Nickel. Nothing too crazy, but I do like that five cent piece over there. I mean, that uh, War Nickel. Got ourselves a 1957 Silver Cert. Nothing too special, but still a Silver Certificate is a Silver Certificate. Hey, I've, I've gotten these before. You remember these. The Japanese government, 10 centavos. And the Japanese government... 10 pesos. Okay. Pretty cool. What do we have here? Seven piece variety Lincoln scent from 1982. So, ah, okay. So we've got the, the transition years. We've got three 1982 coppers and we've got four zincs. And this one is the small and the large in terms of the mint mark, I guess. The small D and the large D. Uh, I'm not really familiar with that uh, with that variety, but still pretty cool. You know, I'm not much of a of a modern scent collector, but you know that is still pretty cool. The 1998 uncirculated coin set. You know and love these. We got our little blue and our little red cellophane envelopes. You know these classics, classics. Hey, these are worth about five bucks, right? That's not too bad. Not too bad, especially when uh, all of this is on the house. Okay, this was also in that pile. 1992 Foxwoods. I think that's a casino. Foxwoods Casino. It's just a little little uh, medallion or token. It might be a gaming chip of some kind. I'm not sure. Uh, it, see, it doesn't have a value on it, which makes me think it's just a, a little commemorative, but kind of cool. All right, into the bag we go again. Let's look how much stuff is in here, by the way. Just still, look how much stuff that is. Insane. I, you guys you guys know who you are. Who You, you know who sent me this. And I want to just say a huge thank you. This is above and beyond. I mean, I did a favor for you, but, I mean, come on. Look at this. You didn't have to, you didn't have to go out all out like that. Three buffalo nickels. 
Holy moly, look at that. These, I believe these are silver. These are 1875 German Empire. Actually, maybe these are not silver, but still. Look at that. These are two Fennigs and five Fennig coins from the 1870s. Very, very cool. Very cool. Look at that. Three Mercs, 1925 P, D, and S. That's sweet. Silver is always, always appreciated. Dude, what do we have here? Dun, 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 United States Mint Proof Set 1998. All right, so we had the 1998 uncirculated set and the 1998 proof set. That's actually beautiful. It's not silver because they have the separate silver sets, and I think those usually are in black, but let's see what we have here. Little proof coin certificate of authenticity. Yeah, it's uh, all copper nickel, as you can see. So, still super nice. Super, super nice. I mean, proof coins are still beautiful, no matter what. Okay. Put that down there. Back into the bag we go. Okay. This is a Tunisian coin. Five francs. Pretty cool. Not silver, but still very, very cool. And it's from 1946. Wow. Oh my lord. A silver eagle. 2018 ASC. What are you guys doing? You didn't have to send me this stuff. This is too much. This is too, too much. You could have, like I said, I pulled this out first. If I would have gotten that, I would have been happy as a clam on its own. And you're sending me silver and amazing numismatic coins and all this cool historical stuff. Guys, you are incredible. I, I cannot thank you enough. This is an odd one. Coiling Black Snake's Magic Western. This is like a little, little uh, antique. What do we have in here? What the heck is this? This is gonna like jump out at me. Are these like fireworks? I think these might be like fireworks. I think you light these on fire. I'm gonna have to do a little bit of research onto this, but I think these are actually like little old-fashioned fireworks. Hope I'm not gonna blow up my hands on this. Well, that's the last thing I need. I'm gonna fly. I have to, you know, I travel a lot, and I'm gonna fly. I'm gonna have gunpowder dust on my hands. Oh, here it is. Place on open hard surface, light pellet, get away. Only use under adult supervision. That is wild. Do not put in mouth. Thank you. Thank you. I will not put these flammable, caution flammable items in my mouth. Very cool. Maybe I'll do a little video on this and uh, actually try them out. Okay, we've got this box over here. Ooh, nice. A 1974 proof Ike. Now, I'm not sure if this is the silver one. Say it is an S mint mark. I'm not sure if all the proofs are. I know that there are some silver and some non silver proofs. I have a feeling this is not the silver one, just because you can see on the edge a lot of copper, but uh, still very cool. Very cool. Okay, back into the bag we go. Yeah, you sent me a little bu bunch of little antiques too. Little antique car. It says USA on the bottom. That's pretty cool. Really cool. This is weird. West Coast Choppers. That's from like the TV show, right? It says Tootsie Toy. Maybe that was the Tootsie Toy. There's a little label on here. West Coast Choppers. This is just like a little uh, collectible, I guess. Okay. Some more stuff. Okay, we have a little, a little doggy. It says Japan on the bottom. That's kind of cool. What is that, like a terrier? <laughs> I, I have to say, I even like the little toys. I even like the little toys. Here, let's put the little dog next to the snakes. Okay, back to coins. Mercury 8, 1962 silver. That's so cool. Is that from the space mission? Oh my god, I keep getting space coins. What is up with that? Mercury 7, mission test, drifting to conserve fuel rocket Atlas D. 1962. So this is actually um, before the moon landing. 
that is very cool. I mean, the first man in space was Yuri Gagarin, which we saw in 1961 on a previous video's coins. If you haven't seen that video, I got a bunch of Russian coins in the Russian grab bag, so check out the card over there. That is so cool. Wow, look at that. A three cent nickel, excuse me, a three cent silver. It says three cent silver nickel. It's actually a three cent silver because it's made out of silver and it's from 1853. I do, I do not have one of these in my typeset yet, so I'm going to be able to fill yet another hole in my typeset. That is so cool. And this one's in incredible shape. These are expensive. These are expensive. That is so amazing. What is, what is wrong with you guys? Why are you guys so generous? All right, we got here a couple of really bright, beautiful Lincoln cents. Brilliant uncirculated Lincoln cents from 1951, 2, and 4. Those are really nice, actually. Really, really nice. All right, what else do we have here? Oh my god, it doesn't end. It does not end. This is incredible. What the heck? Diamond? You sent me diamonds. You sent me little freaking diamonds. Now, I know that these are not, like, super expensive or high quality, but, like, you sent me diamonds. Wild. Oh my god. What is wrong with you guys? This is incredible. This is absolutely incredible. I'm like, I'm smiling from ear to ear right now. This is a set of seated Liberty coins. What? Half dollar, quarter, dime, five cent shield nickel, and a half dime. You can see the little half dime uh, scooted out, but I'm, I mean, I'm speechless. I am speechless. I, I know I did you a favor and helped you out, but this is a way, way bigger reward than I deserve. Way bigger. Okay. Six pieces of gas station car tokens. Let's see what that is. Oh, that's kind of cool. Antique car coins. These are made out of aluminum, it seems. DuPont, DuPont Torer. Dusenberg Straight. Straight 8. Rickenbacker Sedan. Lexington Minuteman. Willie's Knight. And the Oldsmobile Curved Dash. That is really cool. I'm actually a big car enthusiast. Um, I work on my own car. I actually have a car-focused business, which I may share a little more details with you about down the road. Um, so this is really cool. Uh, I don't think these are worth much, but this is super cool. I think these just came from a, from Sunoco. Oh my god, I actually think I got one of these as a kid. I actually think I had one of these as a kid. Crazy. Crazy, crazy. I almost reached back into the box, but... Ancient Fossil? What? Whoa! What is that? Okay, if you guys are into fossils, I need you to comment down below and explain to me what this is, because I have no idea what I'm looking at. No clue whatsoever, but it looks really cool. That will go right on my desk and look pretty. Okay, and believe it or not, there's still more stuff. I mean, I am shocked. Shocked! Okay, we've got some shark's teeth. That I know what it is. About six shark's teeth. That's cool. Very, very cool. What's this? Bolivar. Libertador. This is definitely silver. Let's see, what is that? 1965 Silver Bolivar from Venezuela. Cool. Merca. We have the Stars and Stripes. Nice little patch. Find a place to put that. That is sweet. Really sweet. We got a little 2x2 two two here with a two centavos from 1918 from, Portu from Portugal, and a four centavo centavos, <laughs> four centavos from Portugal as well from 1917, and I think that one's silver. Look at that, really beautiful. Okay, we're coming towards the end of the box. I think there's just a couple more items left. Three more items to be precise. An old cool skeleton key. That's pretty cool. I gotta find something to do with this. You know, I, I actually saw at like an arts and crafts fair, somebody had gotten a bunch of these and made like wind chimes out of them. That'd be pretty cool. Maybe if I get some more of these, I'll, uh, I'll do something like that, do a little project with it. Wow. Hello. 
another roll of wheat scents. Or I should say a roll of wheat scents. Maybe I'll open these up in another video and we'll go through them with a fine tooth comb. Save, I'll hold on to that. And last but not least, last but not least, Certificate of Authenticity, the American Historic Society, a freaking 1879 Morgan Silver Dollar. I mean, I don't need this uh, this little uh, comment card, but it is a 19, excuse me, an 1879 S, beautiful, beautiful Morgan Dollar. I am beyond, beyond floored. I'm floored. I am floored. Look at this. Look at the bounties, the treasure here that was all just just because I did a nice thing for someone. And again, I don't want you to misread this and think like, oh, you should only do good things for people because you'll get financially rewarded for it. That's not at all what my point is. My point is just that when you do nice things for people and you do it enough and you make it a habit and part of your life, you make doing nice things and helping people out a part of your life, sometimes you get rewarded in unexpected ways. And this is one of those... I wish, wish, wish I could tell people who you guys are, but I know that it's against your wishes, so I won't tell uh, who you guys are, but you know who you are, and I thank you tremendously, so, so much. You guys have, have helped me fill a bunch of holes in my, in my US typeset. Uh, you've sent me an amazing bunch of silver and other interesting things, and even you sent me some cool little toys, this little uh, antique toy car, these antique magic snakes, I am floored, absolutely floored. So thank you guys very, very much. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you are not yet a subscriber, please hit that subscribe button and the little bell next to it. As my subscribers can tell you, there's all sorts of surprises and awesome stuff on this channel all the time where you learn things, we have fun together, and we see all sorts of cool coins, numismatic, and silver and gold related items. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Please share it with your friends. Uh, if you have any questions or comments for me, leave them down below. I will surely get back to you. So really, thank you, thank you, thank you. And thank you all for watching and subscribing. So lots more cool stuff coming down the pike. And until next time, you know it, Silver Picker out.